This week on Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use set actions as button filters. So for example, we have our categories across the top and you can see one is selected in blue. This is the selection that we have so we can now see furniture sales over time. If I select office supplies, it will then change and also change the colour of this particular selection. So how do we do this? First off, we're going to put category into columns and then we're going to change this to shape and I'm going to put category on shape. Now I already have category shapes set up so I'm just going to assign this palette and then hit entire view. I'm also just going to add category to label and format that so it's in the center and above and then we're going to hide hide the header and then also just one last final pet peeve is these row dividers let's switch those off too and we don't need the tooltips so that is our selection now we want to build the sheet which is um, over time so first off I'm going to put order date on the columns and then I'm going to put sales on the rows so I'm just going to leave this like this for now and then we're going to just call this over time so let's put those into a dashboard so we have our selection and our time so I'm just going to get rid of this okay so now what we want to do is we want to be able to select a a, specific, a particular category and then the bottom chart to change but then I also want to be able to highlight this to say that that is the one that we have selected so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a set so if I right click on category create set now this we're just going to call this category set and we're just going to select the first one there so now what we're going to do is we're going to add this to colour. So as you can see it's changed it to blue and the office supplies and technology to grey. Now we still can't do anything with that because we've not told it what to do. The first thing we need to do is we need to add this category set to filters. So if I add that to filters it's going to automatically filter to the selected category that we've already got. But we don't know what that is, so I'm just going to add category to detail because you need the original field that you've created your set with in the view for the set action to work. So I'm just going to insert it here so that we've got that in our view. So furniture, we want to put sales over time. Okay, so now we go back to our dashboard. We can see this is furniture sales, but now I want to be able to click on office supplies and it changed the, changed the sales over time. So if we go to dashboard, dashboard actions, we're going to add a new action, change set values. So now we want to make sure that we're choosing the right sheet. So we want to go from the selection only and we want to change the target set to category set. Now you can change how the action runs, so if you hover it will automatically change, select is a click and menu is when you've got the tooltips on. Now clearing the selection does different things, so if you keep set values it will keep the particular set, the particular value that you have selected previously when you click off of it. If you add all values to set, it's going to add all of them in and we'll see all of the categories um, on in blue rather than grey. And then if you remove all the values, it's going to remove everything from the set and leave you with an empty set. So I'm going to check keep this one as keep set values. And I'm just going to call this category set action. And then OK. So if I now click on office supplies, you'll now see that it's changed to office supplies. And when I click off it, it doesn't change anything. So I'll just show you the difference between the other set values. So if I go add all values to set. So if I, I've selected technology, great. But now when I click off it, it's going to add all of those categories to 
my set. They're all gone blue and the bottom chart has now put each of each line is a different category. Now the other one that we've got is exclude, remove all values from set. So now if I do that one and click furniture, great, we can see that. But when I click off it, it's going to remove everything. So it's like you've not clicked on anything. But we're just going to change it back to the other option, keep set values. So now when I keep select off it, it then only keeps the one we have previously selected.